Gals, my name is Bethany Herway and I'm the Glamorous Housewife. Today I'm going to show you how you can make chocolate mint brownies in individual mason jars to serve at a holiday meal or you can take them, put the top on, wrap it, and give it as cute little gifts. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're want to going to do is obviously buy your ingredients and then you're going to make your brownies. Now the recipe for everything will be both online at theglamorousshousewife.com and I will have it scrolled at the end of this video so you can write it down. Now for the brownies, what I do, um, you might think I have some complicated, crazy brownie mix. Um, actually I don't. I use the store bought. Uh, any kind will do, uh, but I do have a trick. Now, when you're making the brownies, follow the box directions. Mix it up, whatever the ingredients say to use. The trick comes in the baking process. So what I do is I put it in at 325, uh, and after 20 minutes, I start checking on it. Now, usually at 20 minutes, it's not ready yet. You can see the sides have set up, but the middle is still pretty liquidy. So every five minutes after that, I check it and wait until the top is basically baked over. But if you put a toothpick in, it's still fairly liquidy in the middle. That's when I pull it out. Uh, because what ends up happening is the heat from cooling down, that will keep baking your brownie. And by pulling it out early, you're gonna get that wonderful, unctuous, chocolatey goodness that everybody loves in the brownie. None of those hockey pucks here. So that's it when it comes to the brownie. Let them cool down, and then we're gonna get on to step two, which is the mint frosting. So what you're gonna do is you need mint um, extract, some powdered sugar, some margarine or butter, and a little bit of heavy cream. And you're gonna mix it in a bowl, that's it, that's all you have to do, um, until it becomes kind of pasty. This is a little bit cooled down, so it's thicker than you might have, um, but not by much. And then what I do is I take my spoon, and I use my finger, which is clean, I washed it beforehand, and I just press it into the tin the jar right here. And I just smooth that around. And that's it. And you just take it and you cool it for 20 minutes, half an hour in the refrigerator. So the next thing you do is you want to make a chocolate ganache to put on top. So for that, I happen to have some Hershey bars lying around because we made some more the other day, uh, but you can use semi-sweet, bittersweet, dark, whatever chocolate you have lying around the house, um, and a little bit of butter, and microwave it at 30 seconds at a time. Make sure you don't burn it. Don't do it for too long. Just take your time, and it's going to create a chocolate ganache. So you do the exact same thing you did with the mint frosting. You take it, again, I find using my finger and the spoon on this one easiest, and you just create the topping. Now, what I like to do after that is take a little candy cane, and I have one right here, and I take, and using my meat tenderizer, if you don't have a meat tenderizer, you can use anything with a heavy bottom, your hand, your shoe, it doesn't matter. And I whack it right in the package. Okay, be gentle, you're not trying to pulverize it. Just get it into smaller pieces. And the reason I do it in the package is because all you have to do, take, sniff up, uh, sniff up the top, and pour it right on top of the chocolate and then you can cool it and that's it so it can be served just like this that's all you have to do with the spoon um, maybe on a pretty little dessert plate at any uh, kind of holiday party a buffet doesn't matter they're delicious uh, but what I like to do is take it to the next level which is wrap it up and serve it to my you know give it to my neighbors as holiday gifts now to make this, what I did was I 
found these pretty round labels um, at Office Depot. That's the closest to me. Um, and I printed out, there's thousands of free printables out there. You just have to Google it. Mine says Warmest Wishes. I will have the link on where I found this um, at theglamorousheousewife.com. And you just stick it to the top of the mason jar that you got when you bought the mason jars. Stick it on, cover it, take the neck, twist it on, and there you have it. I added a little bit of green twine and one of the candy canes just to make it a little more festive so people know if they're going to have something chocolatey and minty. And that's it. There you have it. Now remember, whether you serve this at a party or you, serve, you give it to your friends as gifts, you need to make plenty of copies of the recipe because as soon as people taste this, they're going to want it. So that's it. That's what I've got for the today. And you can visit me anytime at theglamoroushousewife.com and I hope you and yours have a wonderful holiday.